Um, well, locally, Nampa police are opening the files on an investigation more than a half century old. New at four, KBOI 2 Sarah Jacobson is live in Nampa with how, after all these years, a family is hoping for answers. Sarah? Brett Natalie, I am here live in Nampa, the Nampa School District office right behind me, but beneath its foundation may lie the answers to a 54 year old investigation. Because we wonder every day where she is. Who's going to find her? Family members say Lillian Ritchie disappeared from her Napa home in February of 1964. She was just 51 years old at the time. Mother lived close to the school district building. It was under construction at the time when she went missing. And it's very possible that that's where she is. Lillian lived just blocks from what is now the Napa School District office. During the time of her disappearance, the foundation was just being laid. We've looked everywhere else, in all the drain ditches and all the deserts and in the rivers and never any sign of her anywhere. Nampa police say evidence that she was at the construction site has never been uncovered, but rumors and tips now have police and Boise State University students searching. I talked to Lillian's son, Gene, now 86 years old, about what this investigation means to his family. Give a closing for our mother's death, because she's dead and gone, we know that for sure. But it'll give us a complete closure for it, and we need it. Gene was in his early 30s when his mother disappeared. She would have been 105 this year. Gene says he and his family are thankful and hopeful for the investigation to bring them closer to answers. It's going to happen with the wonderful BSU teams working with this new equipment. I've never even heard of it before to find cadavers like this. It's, it's wonderful. We'll be pleased. Sergeant Tim Reha with the Napa Police Department says that the data collected by the BSU students is currently being processed. Now they're waiting for the results of that to make their next steps in the investigation. Reporting live in Napa, Sarah Jacobson, KBOI 2 News. The intention was to hide it and to destroy evidence. One. Uh...